Today I'm going to show you how to use the Amazon Fire Stick 4K to see the Quilt Show shows on your big TV. There are a number of ways to do this, but we're just going to go through the Amazon Fire Stick approach today. The Fire Stick comes with a remote and then a little box that plugs in to one of your HDMI ports. Once that's done, you will go through a setup. They have good instructions for that and it works pretty well. Once that's done, you'll end up with a page like this. This is the starting page. You're going to want to be able to get to the internet, which the Fire Stick can do without any other devices other than the remote. With Amazon, you can do it this way. With Apple, you have to have an iPad or an iPhone or a computer to project it to the TV. But that's not how this works. It runs right on the TV by itself. So start the process by pressing the microphone button and saying, open the Silk browser. Now the Silk Browser opened and it went to the Amazon because I was already there. I'm going to go back to the starting place. The starting place you get to by clicking the three bars. This is where you normally come when you go to the internet if you haven't preset it. Here's how to set up going to the quiltshow.com. Right now it says search the web or enter a URL. Again, you're going to press the microphone button and very, very clearly say thequiltshow.com. Once it comes up, press enter. And it's going to say, how do you want to find it? You're going to say, find it on the internet. It takes a little bit. That's why I'm saying buy the 4K and not the regular one. It's a little bit faster. Now you're on the Quilt Show site. Go over to Login and click the Login button. You can see that I have already signed in, but you'll need to put in your username and your password. But here's a trick. Two things you want to make sure you do. One is click Remember Me. That way you'll never have to re-put in your username or your password. Number two is go back to your remote, click the three lines, and go back to the start. And you can see at the top it says Welcome to the TQS Community. You're now going to click the little button here to go over and add a bookmark. Do you see where it says add a bookmark? Add a bookmark. You can see that it threw that bookmark up on the page. So now go back to that page, the TQS login page, and make sure it says remember me, and click login. From now on, when you come to our site, the login information will pre-fill itself and all you have to do is hit login, so it's not hard at all. As you know, when you log into our site, you go to the daily blog. Well, that's not what we're looking for today. We're going to go up to watch and you can go to the show list or the current show. I'm going to show you how to go to the current show, but if you want to see something other than the current show, just go to the show list like you would on your computer. So going to the current show and there it is. Current show as I'm doing this is Missy Carpenter and all you have to do is go over and start the show. Also it will start up. You can do closed captioning if you want but I always go over and click this full screen button 
and then you go to the show. Now, I happen to be close to the end of the show, but it's real easy to restart by going up to the red line, just clicking on that, and you can start the whole thing over again. Okay, here's another nice feature. Once you have started the show, you can put it on full screen or not, but if you line up this little circle right on the timeline of the video, you can actually go and see different parts of the video of where you want to be. At any point, you can press go and get to that part of it and then put play and it'll start up. So you can slide backwards and see something again or slide forward to move on. It's totally up to you. When you are ready to quit, you can pause things by hitting the play pause button. So it's on play pause now and you can just start it back up. So it's very easy to control. You get to see it in huge uh, color on your screen. It's a lot of fun to watch this way and it's very easy.